We learned the internet is a network of networks. The core of the network works based on packet switching, and it consists of meshes of interconnected packet routers and switches connecting together the internet service providers, ISPs, that provide the access to end systems through access networks. But how do we connect these internet service providers together? What if we connect each access ISP to all other ISPs? If we have n ISPs, this would need n to the power of two connections. We have tens of thousands of ISPs around the world. Therefore, this solution is not very scalable. What if we have one transit global ISP that connects other ISPs to each other. This transit ISP would connect all of the ISPs. It would need for the global ISP to have connection to all ISPs around the world. This needs building an excessive network. However, it would be very profitable. The structure of the internet, if using this method, would look like what we see in the left. This will naturally call for competition, and multiple ISPs may enter this competition of providing access to all other ISPs. Similar to what we see in the figure on the right, this would need having connection to each and every access ISP, or providing this connection through other global ISPs. In reality, we have Tier 1 ISPs providing the service for access ISPs. The group of one or more routers where the customer ISPs can connect into provider ISP is called POP or point of presence. Many ISPs may have impressive networks, but connecting each and every access network might not be possible for all the ISPs providing global transit service. If we have multiple Tier 1 providing service to many, but not all, access ISPs, there will be a need to provide the remaining access through other Tier 1 ISPs. This will need connection, contracts, or peering among Tier 1 ISPs. This connection, in reality, could be done directly among Tier 1 ISPs themselves for different kind of peering which might be public or private. Alternatively, it could be provided through IXPs, Internet Exchange Points. An IXP, Internet Exchange Point, is a meeting point where multiple ISPs can peer together. Also, regional ISPs may rise in connecting access ISPs to the Tier 1 ISPs. Content provider networks like Google, Akamai, Microsoft need their content to be as close as possible to the users of the content. They may come in, run their own network, and bring service close to their users. In reality of the internet, we have a small number of well-connected large networks provided by Tier 1 ISPs like AT&T and Sprint, and content provider networks like Google that connect among regional ISPs and provide national and international coverage. A few fun questions here. Do you know how many Tier 1 internet service providers do we have around the globe at the moment? How about internet exchange points? Do you know how many of them are operating around the globe right now? Can you name a few? Can you name a few content provider networks? I will let you find the answers to those questions with a few internet searches. I know, it is exciting to see them for real. 